Swamis do Parikrama three times of Sri Gurudev and then we come back here. <laughs> And same in the lotus feet of my Siksha Guru, Nitya Lida, Prabhishtam, Vishnupada, Sota Sishmat, Bhakti Siddha, Vedanta Swami Maharaj. 
Bhairi are all sannyasis, brahmacharis, and all sadjarga. Aaj hum log saptah vyapi. Today we are one week Siva Bhagavad we are going to present to you. Try to listen very carefully. And after that you should preach everywhere this mission. This is the mission of our Srila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami, our Guru Parampara. <coughs> Once upon a time, in ancient time, after this appearance of Krishna past time, in Namisha Aranya, there were gathered 88,000 of Rishi Maharshi there. And they were discussing about that. Oh, now Krishna has disappeared. And Kali has come. Kali means to quarrel. Without any to quarrel. And also Kali is coming. The ladies will give up their chest ties. Chest ties. And same way, oh, men also will give up their, their good behavior to their wives. So, there will be so many things. Then what to do? And in the meantime, <coughs> Sukh Goswami, the disciple of Sukhade Goswami, by chance, by the mercy of Krishna, he came there. They became very, this, the mercy became very happy. And they began to ask him, Prabhu, Kalju is coming. We are seeing what will be happen. So we are hearing what to do. You have heard all Ved, Upanishad, Puran, even Bhagavat from your Guru Dev, Siddha Sukhdev Goswami. So we are asking you that. Rayena Alpha Papusha, Ayusha, Sapya Palas Pin Juge, Manda Sumanda Matayo, Manda Bhak Bhagya Hyu Padrita. In Kalyu, the age of the persons will be very, very short. In Saktaju, one lakh years are you. In Treta, also more than lakh. And in Dwapar, it came down and not 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And Kali, oh, 100 years. And in the Manda, there will be unfortunate. So Manda Matayo, they will be engaged in sense gratification. They will forget Krishna. If any powerful incarnation of Krishna will come, then situation will be somewhat changed. Otherwise, no remedy. Hmm? Manda Bhagya, what they are doing for good, it becomes oh, bad. And what they are doing, so many problems coming. So, you should tell us the essence of all what you have heard from your Guru Dev. That how Atma will be Suprasangra. Hmm? 
अतः साधो अतः जब सारं समुद्रित्य ब्रूहिना सद्भावनास्ते जे जेना आत्मा संप्रसिद्ध ये कुछ न टॉस दैट हाउ आई कैन बी हैप because we see that we are entangled in this body that i am this body and these are my my wealth is my my house is my wife children husband are mine so they have no time to have no opportunity to know these things that how atma will be happy forever eternal happiness will come <coughs> Hearing this, Sukadev Swami became very, very happy. He remembered his Guru Dev, and then began to pray his Guru Dev in the beginning, like we. In the beginning, we pray to Guru Dev. So he began to pray. Yam prabhajanta manupe kame tekitam. द्वैपायनो विरहकातर आजुहाओ पुत्रे तन्मयतया करो बुद्धिरु तमसर्व भू कविदनम् दें प्रप्रजन्तम् अनुपेतम् अपेतदित्तम् हिटुक बर्थ सुखदेवोषण एंड एट वंस ही लेफ्ट his house his father mother everything and naked he ran away forest and then sila bias dev calling my putra my son my dear son where you are going and he will follow me but sukadev goswami did not told anything and return to the trees by echo sound oh who is son who is father who is mother nothing only krishna is father mother brother and everything this father mother oh only for as your life is here they may be in past past lives they should they will have it father and son will be father and father will son no guarantee of this and then he told he answered the question of rishis and maharshi savai punsam paro dharmo jato bhakti rathok khali ahe dukkha Abhyavita Jha Bhakti Purushottami. He began to tell Krishna is a Dhokha and Purush. So, serving Krishna without any worldly gain, always engaged his all senses and mood in Krishna's lotus feet to only please him uncontinuous as a flow of honey. This is but no worldly desire at all and he should not be covered with gyan and curry. By the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Rupa Goswami, had done a paribhasa definition a slope of this and that is anna vilasita sunya gyan karmat dhyana pritam anukullen krishna nusilanam bhakti rutta you can explain Timi Ramindasya, Gyanam Janashalakaya, 
Chakshu Dunayaditam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpataru Bhyascha Vipasana Dure Vacha Patitanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I'm offering my Unlimited Dandavat Pranams, my respectful obeisances, unto the lotus feet of my beloved Diksha Gurudev, Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad, Ashto Tarasata Shishimad, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. Secondly, I'm offering my equal Dandavat Pranams and my Shraddha Pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Siksha Gurudevs. Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Padastu Tadasata Shri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Goswami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pad Ashto Tadasata Shri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj our beloved Srila Gurudev and my Sanyas Guru. Then I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams to all of my Rupanuga Guru Parampara and also to all the Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, headed by the Tridandi Sanyasi Gan and all the senior disciples of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. Also my respects to all the uh, guests who have come to this very auspicious Harikata festival in which we have the honor to be in the presence of a exalted pure devotee of Krishna, who is speaking the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, the message of Srila Vyasadeva all throughout the world, and has now come to Houston to grace us with his divine presence. So in this festival, Srila Gurudev, as he has done in many, many festivals, he has chosen the topic of this glorious, topmost, cream, essence of all transcendental knowledge of the Vedas, the king of all shastras, of scriptures, that is called Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Dev has now set the scene by narrating to us the first uh, chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam in which the great sages, thousands of sages have gathered together in the forest of Naimasharanya because they saw that the coming age of Kali Yuga in which the human being's duration of life is shortened and there are so many difficulties and so many uh, shortcomings and drawbacks which make it very difficult for them to advance toward the ultimate goal of life and to find true happiness. So therefore those sages thousands of years ago, they wanted to make an auspicious sacrifice so that the coming evil qualities of the age of Kali would be reduced. And in that assembly a great personality named Sutta Goswami uh, was elected by all the sages to narrate this great literature, this great scripture, Srimad Bhagavatam. He had heard it from the lips of his guru, of his spiritual master, Sri Srimadev Goswami. And the sages began to question, in order to request Sutta Goswami to narrate this great literature, they began to question him on many different topics. And the chief question that they asked was how can a human being in this world fully, fully become completely happy and satisfied? Ye atma sam Here the word atma means 
the transcendental self, the soul. Because everyone in this world is actually an eternal, transcendental, spiritual, part and parcel of the Supreme Absolute Truth, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. But we have forgotten that connection since time immemorial. And we are undergoing repeated birth and death within this material world and suffering endlessly. So how we can achieve, how can we attain our actual benefit of our eternal soul? That is the subject matter that the sages have asked Sutta Goswami, who is the topmost authority on these subjects. So Sutta Goswami, he first of all answered the sages. He gave immediately, he came directly to the point. And he told them this verse that Srila Gurudev just quoted. Savai pungsam paro dharmo yato bhaktir adhokshade ahoituki apratihata ye atma suprasidati. Here, Srila Sutta Goswami has said that the highest dharma, paradharma, the supreme duty of every human being, of every living being, is to perform pure bhakti, pure devotion to adhokshaja. Adhokshaja means the supreme absolute personality of Godhead who is situated far, far beyond this universe in his transcendental eternal abode and he is beyond the range of our mundane senses, mind, and intelligence. So therefore he is called Adhokshaja. So that divine personality of Godhead, he is the supreme absolute truth, and by rendering eternal uh, devotional service, that is called Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti means the energy of the soul in devotion to God. So by performing that type of devotion, which has to have two qualities. Uh, first quality is ahoy to ki. It must be unmotivated with any material desires, material motivations, but only for the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord. And it must be apratihata, that means uninterrupted. It must be going on constantly, 24 hours daily, like a flowing of a stream of honey. And only this kind of pure devotion, ye atma supersediti, it will fully satisfy our eternal soul. But in this context also, the word atma also refers to param atma, which means the supreme soul, the supreme absolute truth, Sri Krishna. When he is satisfied, then the whole world becomes satisfied. Just like if one uh, pours water on the roots of a tree, automatically that water is distributed to all the leaves of the tree, all the branches of the tree. Uh, so in the same way, when one renders pure bhakti to the absolute truth personality of Godhead, then everyone in the universe becomes satisfied. So in order to understand the true nature of this bhakti, our Rupanuga Guru Varga, beginning with Srila Rupa Goswami, he has composed one shloka, one verse, which clearly defines uh, from every angle what is this bhakti. Because if we want to attain this ultimate result, we have to be sure that we understand what is the process. So therefore, Srila Rupa Goswami has very clearly defined bhakti in one verse, which in every single uh, festival gathering that Srila Gurudev has throughout the world, he always refers to this verse. Anya bilashita shunyam jnana karmadya navritam anakul yena krishnanu shilanam bhaktir uttama. So here Srila Rupa Goswami has very beautifully put forward uh, the uh, main qualities of the transcendental process of bhakti and also the secondary qualities. So the main quality is anukul yena krishna anushilanam. Anukul means favorable. 
So, anukulyena krishna anushilanam means that one is performing with his body, his mind, his senses, his words, and, and all of his emotions as well. He is performing constant activity. Anushilanam means under the guidance uh, of spiritual masters who are pure devotees. So under their guidance, he is performing the process of bhakti. And that bhakti is unmotivated. It is anukul. It is favorable, meaning that it is meant to give happiness to Krishna. It is meant to be for the benefit of Krishna. Now, in order to understand the, this bhakti, one also has to understand what is not bhakti and what will hamper bhakti. So therefore, Srila Rupa Goswami has explained that bhakti must be anyabhilashita shunyam. That means it must be devoid of other desires, anya abhilas. So any other desire besides the desire to give happiness to Krishna, to please Krishna, uh, that is in the category of non-bhakti. So, and, he, and Srila Rupa Goswami also specified here that uh, jnana karmadi anavritam. Anavritam means it is not covered by. What is, it not, what is bhakti not covered by? It is not covered by the desire for material enjoyment, that means karma. The desire even for liberation, impersonal liberation from this material existence, only ending the process of birth and death, that is called jnana. And even other subsidiary activities like yoga, desiring to obtain mystical powers so that one can subtly control material nature and so forth. So these are all activities which will cover bhakti. Therefore, Rupa Goswami said that pure bhakti, which is called uttama bhakti, is untinged and uncovered by any of these other motives and any of these other qualities. Now, he has also used one particular word in the first line. He says, Anya Abhilashita Shunyam. So here, ab, ab, Abhilashita, there is the uh, word in Sanskrit which is giving a specific meaning. When, it's, when Shilurpa Goswami says that uh, bhakti is devoid of other desires, then does it mean that one is desireless? Does it mean that one cannot have any activities or any desires within the realm of karma, jnana, yoga, etc.? No. Here, Srila Goswami has used this specific wording to indicate that a devotee will, in ordinary circumstances, in everyday life, he will have no other motivations or desires. Uh, he will never call upon Krishna to fulfill any kind of material aspiration. However, in some emergency situation, when a devotee's life may be threatened, at that time, the devotee spontaneously, because it is his natural condition to be subordinate to Krishna, therefore he will spontaneously cry out, Oh Krishna, save me! And we see examples of this in the Shastras, such as Srimati Draupadi Devi, when she was being disrobed, she called out for Krishna to save her. So in this way, very specific wording is used by Rupa Goswami so that one can uh, understand the true definition of bhakti. And also, uh, when uh, the word anukul is used, we have to understand the true meaning of anukul. And a couple of examples are given. Because Anukul means favorable for Krishna, favorable for Krishna's well-being, for his happiness. But we see that in the arena of King Kangsa, when Sri Krishna came there with Baladev Prabhu, and they wrestled in the arena with the uh, very powerful wrestlers, Chanur and Mushtika, at that time, Sri Krishna was uh, being pounded by the fists of these wrestlers. Hmm? And actually, because Krishna was tasting rus, he was actually in the mood of chivalry, and he was enjoying the fight, the wrestling match. So can it be said that the wrestlers were making Krishna happy, therefore they were doing bhakti? No, they were not doing bhakti. Why? Because it was not their objective to benefit Krishna. They wanted to kill Krishna. 
So therefore, they're disqualified from this category of bhakti, even though Krishna was getting happiness from their activity. Now, on the contrary, when Mother Yashoda, who is the uh, topmost example of Vatsalya brain, the mood of love and affection of a mother, when she was uh, preparing milk for Sri Krishna, so that she could make very nice milk sweets for his benefit, for his happiness, uh, then Sri Krishna came to her and tugged on her sari and wanted to drink her breast milk when he was a very little baby. So now Mother Yashoda set, kept the milk there boiling uh, on the stove and then she took Krishna on her lap and Krishna began to suck her breast. And now she became very, very happy, absorbed in loving mellows of exchange with her dear, beloved little son Krishna. And at that time, the milk on the stove uh, began to see that it will not have opportunity to serve Krishna because Mother Yashoda's milk is infinite, unlimited. Krishna's desire to drink is also unlimited. Therefore, the milk decided, I will commit suicide. I'll have no chance to serve Krishna. Now the milk jumped out into the fire. When Mother Yashoda saw this, oh, immediately she put Krishna aside and she jumped up and ran to the fire to save the milk from boiling over. And what happened to Krishna? Krishna became upset. He was not happy. Mother Yashoda put me down. So now Krishna became angry. And then the other story that I'm sure that we'll hear in this festival when Krishna went and did some mischief in the stealing yogurt and so forth. But Mother Yashoda, what was her intention? Even though Krishna was not made happy by that activity, but actually she was doing the highest bhakti. Why? Because that milk was for the benefit of Krishna. And, and it was devotion, it was pure bhakti to serve Krishna with that milk. So this example is given by our acharyas so that we may clearly understand what is actual bhakti. And therefore Srila Gurudev is reminding us in every festival that this, the purpose of the Srimad Bhagavatam is to engage all living beings in the eternal service of pure uttama bhakti to the lotus feet of Bhagavan and that will lead everyone to the perfection of life. So in this way the Srimad Bhagavatam begins by telling us what is the process by which we can attain the highest perfection. Hare Krishna. Vasu Devi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Janate Asu Varadhyam Gyanam Chajata If anyone is following this Anna Vilasita Sundam Gyan Karma Anapritam Anukulin Krishna Anushiganam And bhakti yoga prayojita, that time of uttama bhakti is performed. Then very soon, in no time, varagya and gyan will come. Varagya means detachment from worldly desires. Surely it is bound to come. And all kinds of tattva can. Krishna tattva, Jiva tattva, Maya tattva, Prem tattva, Radha tattva, all kinds of tattva. Surely he will enter. We see that Gaur Kishore Dasavari Maharaj, he was blind. He could not sign his name even. But how high class of knowing all Srimad Bhagavatam, essence of Srimad Bhagavat, it was all in her. A very prominent Goswami of Nodi was giving class on Bhagavatam. And Babaji was passing through that lane. Babaji, what you are explaining? You are quite wrong. And then he explained this law. Vadanti tattva vidas tattva 
सच ज्ञान अद्वयम ब्रह्मेति परमात्मे भगवान and all people say oh he does not know anything and he can explain so all kinds of gyan tattva gyan is bound to come and detachment from worldly desires must go and parikshit maharaj heard and what we gave very nice so i think that it is better not to hear shrimad bhagavat to you <laughs> because you will have to give up your world your father mother wife husband and everything that is you must hear this father mother son and daughter sir mortal after that but you cannot take them with you so vairagya or you know ramnath das goswami vairagya gorkeshwar das bhagat maharaj also he never took any good delicious things if his mind wanted to take some delicious food then he used to collect a neem patta ha neem leaves neem leaves neem and he used to take in this way he became right he used to take the mud of jamuna and radha kundra not taking any fresh and radhe 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 kotha go So we pray to my Lord like that. So can and that must come. But how come I see that can that is not coming in you? <laughs> Then why? What is the reason? That there is something whole loophole, and that why? Oh, I'm this body. These are mine. Until it will not go by the grace of a special mercy of Guru Dev, O Gyan Bharat will not come. So try to do everything in this world your duty, Malli. Don't be detached. Don't don't be attached to your father, mother, wife, husband. For duty you should maintain everything. Like our Goswami is had done. Bas de dharma sunastita lukunsa pushak se in kathaduja no paade jati rathin sramaye yogi. You are chanting Hari name. You are doing arshan. You are performing all the other limbs of bhakti. But You have no taste in hearing Hari Katha from high class of boys. Then what it is? It will nothing. It will come in zero. So first Sravanam, then Kirtanam, then Asmaranam, then all sorts. And especially in the Kali Yuga, if you are doing Sravan, Kirtan, Vishnu, Sravan, oh, Nam chanting is essential. Keeping this okay, you should do Sravan. What Sravan? About the name, glory of name, his root form, transcendental form. Quality is his sweet passion. Satan prasanga mama vidya sambito bhavan terit karana rasaya na gata tadjo sanata asu apavar vatmani sadha rati bhakti. From high class of sadhu Vaishnava, if you will hear Hari Katha, sthane sthita. Whether you are 
it has to lie for any life, where you are being there, or where you are situated, or in Vrindavan with sadhus, especially. Then, he. Then gradually, sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti and prem bhakti will come. This is only the process. And the root of bhakti is sadhu sangha. So give the importance of sadhu sangha. Srinvatan Sankatha Purna Shramada Kirtana Hridyan Tasto Jhapatrani Vitunne Suhisura Tirtha Maharaj Srinvatan Sankatha and all the shlokas of the Also, I offer my thousands, thousands of essential road as we know, Sila Swami Prabhupada, Sila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. All, I offer my essential, all sannyasis, also, please take, I offer my essential, all Vaishnav and Vaishnavi mothers and sisters, please give me mercy, so I am not able to speak in English, but Aww. I am trying to give you a lot. So in Srimad Bhagavata, as they wrote, call to everyone, Oh my dear Rasi devotee, Oh Bhavu, anyone please come, please take, please listen to Srimad Bhagavata. This Srimad Bhagavata already came from Guru Vrindavan. Beginning of creation, let Brahma went pray to Sri Krishna. That time Sri Krishna gave, spoke this Bhagavata, gave knowledge to him. In this way, this Bhagavata came from Guru Vrindava. Then Brahma got this. Brahma gave to Narada Rishi, Narada Rishi to Vaisdev, Vaisdev to Sudhiv Goswami, also Sudh Goswami. In this way, Srimad Bhagavata came from Guru Vrindavan in this world. So, Liberated soul, Sri Sudev Goswami, who is very dearest and nearest is Radhika's parent. So he appeared, he is son of Vaisdev. So Sudev Goswami. So then Sudev Goswami tested Srimad Bhagavatam, then he spoke in Parichit assembly. Nigama Kalpa Tarur Galitam Phalam. This Ved, Srimad Bhagavatam is Pruda Vedai, all holy books. So there are, see, 
श्रीमद कृष्णदेव वेद व्यास भाई बताओ Oh my dear friend, please drink this Srimad Bhagavad Ras. This is your nectar, your Ras. Then everyone will be happy in this way. He called everyone. So Gurudev gave a lot now. Srinatam Sakatham Krishna Purna Shravana Kirtana Hidyan Tashto Jhavadrani Vidhunoti Suhid Satam Supreme Lord Sri Krishna always friend of devotee and always give him love and affection to devotee and he is friend of all devotee through his sada friend coming in hearts but he never never taking or oh, anyone give him asan then i will sitting i will sit never wait already he took chair then sit here If he have dust, already he clean. So no time, because devotee always absorb mood. He is praying me, but he has mind everything in you. So many honors, very dirty. How can she? But Sri Krishna came in devotee's heart. Then he clean their heart. Sri Nataam, Sri Nataam, Krishna. When devotee is there hearing Sri Krishna's katha. That time also coming. Sri Krishna, when? How can he come? By ear way. He is coming by ear way. We came this way to here, in this hall. Also, Supreme Lord Sri Krishna come in devotee's heart. Which way? By ear way. He is coming when devotee is there hearing Sri Mad Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Gita, Bhakti Gita. At that time, Sri Krishna coming in our heart. प्रविष्ट कर्ण रंधे न स्वानाम भाव स्वरूप हो दो डिवोटी हो हैव एफेक्शंस मूड एफेक्शंस टू श्री कृष्ण और श्री कृष्ण इज माय ही इज माय सन ही इज माय बिलवेड ही इज माय फ्रेंड इन दिस वे हु हैव एफेक्शन इज मूड श्री कृष्ण का मिल गया आल्सो श्री कृष्ण टोल्ड सो एवरीवन फॉलोइंग मी सो आई एम गिविंग द अरेंजर व्हाट इज देयर Desire, so I fulfill their desire. So I promise. This is the Maam Prabodhante. Tam stathayu bhajam yaha. Who worship me? So I worship him. When is his desire? So I fulfill their desire. So in this way, Sri Krishna gave all things. But they have material desires. Oh God, give me land, house, gold, money, children, wife, husband. So in this way, everything material things. So Sri Krishna gave. But he is not satisfied. Pure devotee, they never want anything else. They want only one Sri Krishna. In this way, pure mood, pure heart. They have relation mood. Swanam bhava swaruham. In their heart, heart is like lotus. But when lotus will be closed, the tongue cannot sit. Bhumi cannot sit. Cannot come there. Lotus is opening. Is necessary. So when by Guru Dev Masi, our heart like lotus opening at that time, Sri Krishna come in there and sitting, and also testing their lotus honey. So there are Pravista Kanan Andre Nand Swaram Bhav Sarudham Dhunoti Samvam Krishna Salilas Jatha Sar, and he is cleaning, washing all heart, mind, everything. All sense. Then everything pure. Also, when we came in this world, when we took birth, and we have material associates, attachment. In this way, always we are dirty. But our heart, mind, dirty like rainwater. Rainwater is pure, but when falling on the ground, at that time dirty cannot drain. After that, in the autumn season, already. This water pure become pure. So devotee, when they are hearing Sri Krishna's katha, at that time automatically their heart will be pure like water, sinner water, atom water. So Sri Krishna told, "See the thoughts of the thoughts, Krishna, Purna Shravana Kirtana. We thought, we think, oh, we hear this katha so many times of this book, and always I we hear this katha. I can listen more and more." But Sri Krishna told devotees they never listen. Who is listen? When 
and devotees, they are prayer moods. Every day they are praying me and hearing, chanting, singing, that time also Sri Krishna listening. What is their mood? How they are praying? Sri Natham Sakatham Krishna. When Surga swam, this killed them. That killed them. That time Sri Krishna also came there and he is hearing what is singing. Very beautiful song. That time he, he was very happy. Also devoted to hear, hearing or chanting, singing, Sri Krishna killed them. That time Sri Krishna came there. Sri Natham Sakatham Krishna devoted there. Hearing my Don't explain so much. So in this way, Sri Krishna told, I become happy. Also I see it in devotee's heart. Nasta Prayasu Amadresu Nittam Bhagavata Sivaya. Bhagavati Uttama Stroke Bhakti Bhavati Nashtiki. Nasta Prayasu Amadresu. When Amadra among the unauspicious things, all on earth, false ego, ignorance, everything when he finished at that time. So Bhakti Bhagavati. Nice to then pure bhakti, nishtha bhakti, peace book, then tolerant mind, always Sri Krishna had attachment absorbed for this bhakti will come. So in this way, Tadar, 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 Rajas, Tamu, Bhava, Kamalo, Bhada, Yasaji, Cheta, Etairana, Vidham, Chittam, Sati, Prasitati. We are following bhakti, but we have so many material desires. Sometimes lust, anger, greed, illusion, false ego, ignorance, so many kinds. Then sometimes <coughs> too much fire, too much angry. If chanting harinam, but no harinam, no satisfied, no happy. Because raja and tamun, passion mood, darkness mood, always we have. Lost in our great illusion, so always catching us. Always disturbance mind, very trouble. But how can you? Following your bhakti, chanting name, and following in serving to Guru. In this way, heart, mind, everything will be pure. When will be sattic mood, then peaceful mind. Also, that time chanting, singing, everything will be okay. So by the passion mood, when we are drinking and delicious food, rich food, then passion mood, ignorance mood coming. In this way, then lost anger, great illusion coming. We cannot control them. Also, everyone's heart, mind, everything, they are lost anger, great illusion, everything we have. But how can we control them? They are Necessary, we must follow Sati Guru, Sati Prasadam. After that, mind, heart, knowledge, everything will be pure. In this way, pure mood, then following this bhakti, then Atma soul will be happy. Evam Prasanna Manasu Bhagavad Bhakti Yogat. Happy mind, following this bhakti, then no any anger mood, no other mood, no passion mood, no darkness mood. Prasanna Manasu Bhagavad Bhakti Yogata Following this Bhakti Bhagavad Tattva Vigyanam Murta Sangir Sajayati And that time all experience will come. Also, Lord Kapil Dev told to Mata Devruti, Mate, when devotee is following pure Bhakti, and that time pure heart, pure mood, sometimes I have given him darshan. Trail darshan yavay avay. Udara hase chitabhamo suktai. So, tair darshani avay avay, sometimes very sweet smell. Or sometimes giving darshan by dream. Sometimes in bhajan sadhan, in, when chanting, following bhakti, in bhajan sadhan time, then visions come, spurti. Sometimes appear there, indirectly came and gone. Then what happening? What is the matter? In this way, Sri Krishna still in devotee's mind, devotee's heart. And that time they offer him himself to Sri Krishna. Oh, Sri Krishna, please accept me. I don't want material things. Always he has 
this ecstasy mood in this way devotees they become pure then bhagavat tattva vidyanam this experience anubhav coming in this way they become very happy vidyate granthi vidyate hridaya granthi chindante sarva samshaya chindante chasya karmani drishta evat mani ishvari vidyate hridaya granthi so we have so many many lives we are coming we have blindness we have ignorance all doubt everything will be finished no doubt clear mind clear heart light clear sky no cloud in our heart will be pure and krishna katha ruchi always testing mood krishna katha hearing krishna katha always engage in this way pure mood pure heart that that kind of bhav mood coming vidyate hridaya granthi chindante sarva samshaya at that time no any question so everything will be clear clear mind clear heart pure heart no doubt so chindante chasya karmani then all karma previous life prarabdha aprarabdha paap paapi avidha also all efforts everything will be clear finish then that nothing chindante chasya karmani drishta eva mani ishvari ishvari supreme lord sri krishna manifesting his beautiful form in their heart in sadhak devotee they are feeling they are looking Sri Krishna is very beautiful form and sweetness, lila, everything manifesting in devotee's heart. In this way, devotee, they are very close to Sri Krishna. In this way, this shrooks are root, are essence of all Srimad Bhagavatam. And others, chapters and discussions are only this explanation of these shlokas. So, those who are intelligent, they must do bhakti yoga. They follow. Those who are unfortunate, they cannot. So, those who are so intelligent, Paramaya Buddha and Jayatma Prashidati, this is only the process by how our soul can behave. Because we are part and parcel of Supreme Lord Krishna. So, a relation will come, as it has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Dasya, Sabkha, Vasalya, Madhu. Especially Madhu, by hearing the sweet pies done with Krishna with gopis, Ras and other things. So he will, he must be happy. Otherwise anyone cannot be happy. In explanation, Sri Rasu, Bhyas Dev is telling you. But, so Dev Goswami is telling to Parikshit Maharaj and Sut Goswami to Bhaisan Pan and so many rishis. And he is telling, Vyas is the incarnation of Krishna. Or Sakta Vesh Avatar. For the benefit of all conditioned soul, he wrote, the essence of all the Vedic literature, Ved, Upanishad, Tapani and everything. And it is called Brahma Sutra. After to explain in easy language, he wrote 56 kind of, 54 kind of, Atthara, 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 18, 18, 18. The, Atharvi has shown 40, the 54 kinds of Puran. Even Mahabharata and in Bharat Gita, he wrote everything. 
but he was not happy. Was thinking, how, why I am not satisfied? My soul is not satisfied. What wrong I have done? But he could not discover. In the meantime, though he was incarnation of Krishna Shakta Vaisavata, but Narada is his guru. He came and then that's them washed his feet, did pranam, and then Narad was Narad sat there. Then Narad told, "You have done so many, written so many uh, Upanishads, um, essence of Upanishad, Mahabharat, Gita, Puran. But why you are not happy?" Gurudev, I don't know. You are quite the doctor, you can cut this. Then what began? Very brilliant. Sade, Sade Sadhas, at the bottom. Om Jnana Timaran Hasya Jnanandana Slakya Chakshur Nalitam Dena Jasmai Sri Gurave Nama Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Tadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Dhar Bhaktaya Nabur Nama First of all, I offer my assistant in Kandavat Kuspanjali my heart like flowers thousands of times at the lotus feet of my holy master Asmadeva Parvaradism Guru Padma, Om Vishnu Pad, Ashtotara Satasi Simak, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Sri Guru Parampara and I offer my pranam to Anandichandi Parkan and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. 